Weather with Tom Kiffin. And welcome back to the nine, welcome back to local three news for our 906 weather watchers. I'm meteorologist Tom Kepin and I'm Brianna McLean. Brianna, we definitely had the wind today, especially the further yes. east you went. We had some wind gusts in between 35 and 45 miles per hour, including a 45 mile per hour wind gust for Manistique and a 45 mile per hour wind gust for Sault Ste. Marie. And then elsewhere you can see wind gusts. You, can, you know, 36 miles per hour for Houghton, Market Sawyer, 38 mile per hour and a 40 mile per hour wind gust for Iron Mountain. These winds, Brianna, are going to start to lighten on up slowly through the overnight hours, but we're going to keep some gusty winds going as we head into the overnight for the central and eastern UP. But for tomorrow, we're going to have the sunshine and lighter winds as well. So that's going to make for not too bad of a spring day around yeah. the UP. Just have the coat ready if you're going around the Great Lakes because we may have some chillier temperatures. Yes. near the shorelines of the Great Lakes. Speaking of the Great Lakes and the wind, mm -hmm. check out these pictures from Miner's Castle. Kevin Dunham sending this in here. You can see the wave action here at Miner's Castle. Definitely the waves were turned up today on oh, Lake yeah. Superior with the gale force winds. Thank you, Kevin, for sending that in. And as always, thank you for sending in all your awesome photos from the Munising area. And then Sue Dempsey also took a trip to Miner's Castle. You can see the Lake turned up and the waves really going at Miner's Castle today. Thank you, Sue, for sending that photo in. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers page on Facebook, it's easy. Head on over to Facebook. Feel free to join. We'd love to show off your weather photos during WJM and Local 3 News and also on UPMatters.com. Let's fire up Max 1 here and take it full. And as we look at three things to know here, we're going to have clearing skies for the rest of the night tonight, but we're going to keep the wind around, especially the further east you are. For the weekend, it's mainly dry, but we'll have some rain showers move through here on Saturday night. We will take any rain we can get. I keep repeating myself on that. We will take any rain we can get, and if we do get a snowstorm in the middle to late April, and if it comes with wet snow, that will be a bonus because that will help out with the moisture situation here in the UP, which we are behind on. Next Tuesday and Wednesday, another decent storm system will be moving on in, and that could bring us some rain and also some wind in the Upper Peninsula as we go through Tuesday and also Wednesday. So for the rest of the night, dry, no weather issues. And for most of Saturday, no weather issues. But Saturday evening, some rain showers may start to show up in the Keweenaw Peninsula. And then I think we all, at least at some point Saturday night, see some rain showers move on through, but we're back to dry weather as we head into Sunday afternoon. There's your temperatures right now now 30s and 40s and most of us are going to see low temperatures tonight fall back into the 30s including 35 for Houghton but Houghton tomorrow will be 52 for Saturday afternoon for the interior west we'll see lows tonight right around the freezing mark or a little bit below highs bounce back nicely though Saturday afternoon back into the 60s for the south central UP we'll have lows tonight around 35 for Escanaba highs tomorrow away from the lake shore Lake Michigan and the Bay of Green Bay will be around 60 or the 60s. 60s. For Newberry in the eastern UP, 32 tonight for Newberry. Highs tomorrow right around 50 for Newberry. Elger County will have low temperatures tonight in the low to mid 30s. Highs tomorrow range from 44 for Grand Marais to 58 in western Elger County for Trenary. Into Gwynn and the interior sections of Marquette County, lows tonight 32 to 33. Highs tomorrow approaching 60 or jumping into the lower 60s. Higher terrain west of Marquette around the freezing mark tonight or lows tonight, freezing mark, highs tomorrow, mid to upper 50s, and then a little bit cooler, chillier along the Lake Superior shoreline in Marquette County. We'll have lows tonight around 35, highs tomorrow, upper 40s to around 50, perhaps the lower 50s.